Tom, a giant man-eating plant. Oh! Great heavens! Is there no end to this horror? Horace Ludwaker. They were two young lovers on their honeymoon, but their dream of delight turned into a shocking nightmare of abysmal terror when they set foot on this accursed ground. It ought to be ideal for our honeymoon, dear. It's an acre of ground I inherited from my grandfather, way up here in the hills. Just so we're alone, darling. Tom Jordan and his new bride, Maida, find their seclusion. Road ends here. We'll have to walk now. I never got around to looking up this isolated piece of property before. It couldn't be more out of the way. Wonderful. This is my acre here. There's supposed to be an old cabin somewhere. Come on. We'll find it. But, Tom, is that an old tombstone? Oh, look! Here I lie, murdered and nameless. Beware. This ground is cursed after dark until my killer meets his end. Don't be frightened, dear. It's just a silly story about this property. Forget it. No, tell me, Tom. What is the story? I have a right to know. Well, somebody was murdered here long ago. Before he died, the victim screeched. I curse the ground you walk upon. The killer, uh, I forget his name, was then supposed to be supernaturally hounded by weird death. Or so the story goes. But the killer escaped, so the curse is still in effect. Every night at sundown, Nameless horror fills this cursed acre. How shuddery. Is it true? Of course not. Somebody carved that stone for a joke and invented the murder to go with it. Look around. Does it look cursed to you? No, it's lovely. Lightheartedly forgetting the eerie tale, they wander on and finally... There's the cabin. A perfect hideout from the world. Yeah, perfect hideout. What? Hey! Get out of our cabin, you! This says I stay. E He's got a gun! Who, who are you? Wait. I recognize you from the newspapers. Mugger. Crandall. The killer wanted by the police. Yeah, that's me. I found this cabin today, so you two goons have to come here and spot me. Too bad for you. Because now you gotta be rubbed out, see? Get going. Away from the cabin. But you can't kill us in cold blood. Let us live. So as you can squeal to the cops? How silly can you get? I'll give you five minutes, and then you get it. As the evening shadows fall, the honeymooners face stark doom at the hands of a ruthless killer. Oh, t Tom, this... this can't be happening to us. All right, you lovebirds. Time's up. This is it. But suddenly, eerily, a hand reaches from nowhere. Hey, my gun, who grabbed it? Yeah! The trees! They came alive! Help! The uncanny phenomenon continues, saving the lives of Tom and Maida, but striking terror to their hearts. We were saved from the gun, but what horrible thing is this? How can trees come alive like clutching monsters? Great Scott! It must be that curse! The... the story is true! Look! They got Crandall! Yeah! Help me! You can't let me die like this. He's right. I can't. Even if he was ready to shoot us down before, I'll pull... Oof! S saved. I'll never forget this, pal. Never. Never mind, run! Desperately, they run a gauntlet of botanical madness, as if in some dreadful nightmare. Hurry! The only safe place is inside the cabin. I'm in. We'll all be safe inside in a moment. Who invited you in? 
He slammed the door in our face. Oh, the heartless fiend. Let us in! Didn't I just save your life? Didn't you say you never forget? This'll teach you to never trust a crook. <laughs> what can we do, Tom? Only one chance left. We've got to make a run for our car. But that's across the whole acre of cursed ground. Tom, we'll n never make it. This grass, so tall and thick, holding us back. Take my hand, Maida. We must keep going. Look out! That tree! <coughs> this was the way the original curse was supposed to catch the murderer fleeing from his crime long ago. After his victim cursed the ground he walked upon, all nature turned against him, but failed to kid him. Then why is this happening to us? Why isn't it happening to Crandall, another killer? Oh, Tom, it's so wrong. So horribly wrong. I... I can't understand it, Maida. Faster, or we'll be buried alive by these huge leaves! Careful. Those vines, like wriggling snakes. We're caught. Helpless. Tom, th this is the end. And all the while, Crandall the Killer is snug in the cabin, gloating at his good fortune. I'm safe for the night. I'll scram out of this place in the morning. Those two lovebirds must be mangled and dead by now. Is it true? Has the old curse fallen upon innocent souls, leaving a killer alive? Then miraculously, Tom and Maida are suddenly and mysteriously released by the strangling vines. Tom, they let us go. What does it mean? I don't know. It's uncanny. But come on, it's not far now to our car. Gaining the car at last, they drive off thankfully, shaken to the bottom of their souls. Oh, what a ghastly night. Thank heaven it's over. We'll return with the sheriff in the morning to get Crandall. If he doesn't skip. In the morning. Not a sound from inside. Did he get away? No. Look, the curse got him. Hanged. By a vine that crept in through a hole and sought him out. What did you say his name was? Crandall. Funny, that's the name of the killer who got away, according to the curse story. What? Then the original killer was Crandall's grandfather. Now I see why the vines released us. Just when they got Crandall. The curse was against any Crandall of any generation. Later. Look, the tombstone split. An ancient vengeance has been satisfied. The curse is lifted. Poor tortured soul. May he rest in peace now. And so at last, peace comes to horror's little acre. The end.